frame. Get the chat pane pulled up. Beautiful. Joe says, I'm watching CGC glue. All right, we can definitely check those out. So this is select quote on the five minute pre-market chart. And we can kind of see it's been kind of consolidating, trading sideways. There's a support resistance about here. That'd be really interesting. No, I was gonna say that'd be really interesting if it was that, if it was the previous highs, which is there. So we'll, we'll watch this one, I guess, is pretty much what I'm getting at. Joe wants to look at canopy growth. Canopy growth and most pot stocks have been just on absolute fire. CGC. So canopy is running overall decent trends. Really, really pretty explosive pennant pattern here back in late January that kind of rolled pretty quickly. So canopy, yeah, if you're looking at playing that one, Joe, uh, I'm, I'm with you, man. Buy the dip. I wouldn't necessarily wait until it breaks out and make a new high to go bullish. The trend's already bullish. So try to buy it as low as you can on CGC. Glue Mobile, which is ticker symbol GLUU. We've been looking at this one. This one's a buyout, I believe. So congratulations for anyone in Glue Mobile. Nice gap up, up to 1252 on buyout news, which is awesome. So congrats for anyone who's in that one. Corsair Gaming's gapping up some, CRSR. Now, is this on earnings? Oh, there is Lucia. Hi, Lucia. How are you? Me and you were chatting earlier this morning. Hope you're doing awesome. You are so, so cool. Okay. So Corsair, earnings came out and it's gapping up. All right, we're going to put that on the list. Because what I like about Corsair is this hammer. Love this hammer on February 5th. So that's got to go on the list. So we can watch it and just keep a close on it. What I would actually really be intrigued about is seeing if we can play this, because this is going to be a pretty strong gap, I think. It'll be a pretty strong gap. <laughs> it's my obligatory sneezes every morning. <laughs> At the exact same time every day, 8.05, always sneezing. So yeah, Corsair Gaming, it actually is a really strong gap. So we need to be keeping a close eye on this one. We'll see if we can pull back to 4602, uh, see if we can go along, watch it for a day trade. This could also be a really, really good breakout for a swing trade also. Type in a nine into the chat, and if you can clearly see that it's been consolidating and basing for a while, and it's working on breaking out. Yeah. So what we're going to do is also, I'm going to throw this on the Wednesday swing trading afternoon room. And uh, so we can just kind of watch that relatively closely. Okay, cool deal, cool deal. Corsair Gamings, got it. My boy JB says Palantir. Palantir, I do like the gap. I am in some call options on Palantir. These are May $40 calls are the ones that I purchased. And they were up a little bit yesterday. Best case scenario, obviously, I think for me is we take out the high of today. That would be best case scenario. So if we take out that high, obviously we could run and that'd be kind of cool. So Palantir, we will see over time how it looks and what it does, but you know, it's doing its thing. Lawrence says, Chegg, what's up Chegg? This, this stock has been unbelievable. School books also, I believe is what Chegg is. Chegg is, is school books. I think maybe I might be thinking of another stock. It is a great gap. JB says, yep, I remember this one from the college days. Bro, you didn't go to college. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chegg, what up, Chegg? Yeah, man. I pretended to go to college, too. I was in, uh, I was in classes sometimes. Sometimes I was there. All right, so CHGG, I agree, Lauren, it's a great gap. It is a great gap. Amit, what about you? Were you like me and JB? Did you go to college? Kind of, sort of? Somewhat, maybe, allegedly? Uh-oh, feeling on something. What am I feeling on? What am I feeling on? Doug says I was in the area. Right on. Um, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So we got, yeah, 
pretty much it. Okay. Let's go look at some other things. We got those four nice gaps. Um, Sundial Growers is gapping up. A few people are watching this one. Uh, this one is doing its thing. So we have a swing trade on it to get in at $1.37. Although I'm not blissfully in love with that shave top candle gapping up. Um, if it triggers us in, it triggers us in. But, you know, I guess we'll see. Um, here's the 15 minute chart and 15 minute chart. It's kind of somewhat pulling back. So we'll see if it pulls back some, but it's looking like it's pulling back a little bit and we'll just kind of play it out accordingly and find out what it's trying to do. But, you know, it most likely will trigger us in and then probably pull back some and then we'll see. Just trying to play like a random, a random stock that does have a lot of volume, a lot of volume. Okay, small gap and FRX. What is this one? Flex Flome? Flex, flex I roam. Lucian says, I did an absolute zero play on this one for the swing trade. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know what this is, guys. F F R X, not sure. I don't even see it yet. I don't even see it opening. Yeah, I don't know. If you play it, just uh, have a stop at zero. That's probably how I'll do it. Okay, Jay says, why, why aren't you in SNDL already with pre-market? So you can be, Jim, that's not an issue at all. Uh, normally my swing trades are just, you know, when I get into a trade, they're set up for just regular hours. The only trades that I like to get out of are my targets at, pre, at, at when the market is closed. So pre or post market, I love to sell at a limit. Um, but usually when I'm getting into a trade, I normally do that when the market's open, but most likely will trigger today. Uh-oh, there he is. There he is, Greg G, Tonics Pharmaceuticals. That is a lot, wow, that is some serious bear traps. And again, what's random is I know that these are kind of really weird no-name companies, but a lot of these no-name companies have been running. And if it has a chart, it has a heart. I mean, this is obviously just absolute absolute garbage but but it can be traded i mean i wouldn't own this thing uh this is the pre-market wow so pre-market is already run up all the way to 212 and it's kind of fading i'll put on the list uh the chances i'll trade it are slim but i won't say impossible i will give it at least 30 minutes or so before i take this one and i also heard a rumor that thomas wong might be coming on the microphone later today. That's just a rumor though. Just a rumor. <laughs> Team F. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I love it. By the way, let me go ahead and upgrade my boy Thomas. Since the rumor's out, it's not really a rumor. He's definitely coming on the microphone. I want you guys just to see how, uh, how this guy just crushed his life. All right. So let's go look at Falco and the net ease N T E S. So this is net ease. So this one pretty decent gap. We'll throw that on the list. See what it does. Next on the list is car C A R R carrier global corporation. Robert says actually a decent bearish gap, but those don't work anymore. Nope. Nope, but it is, it actually is a really good gap. You're right. I mean, you're always right, but this, this is a good gap. I will, I will definitely put on my watch list to see what it can do. Adonis wants me to look at Twitter, Twitter. All right. So Twitter is up a little bit. There's been a few people who've been riding this storm off of the 100 simple riding it up. I guess a lot of people didn't care that Trump got taken off the platform. You know, people are like, and who cares? So a few people have already been in bullish and a lot of people bought down here. I wasn't one of them. I think mostly because I was, for us, I was scared. I think that's it. I don't play Twitter. Well, I don't know why. I don't know why I don't play Twitter. Well, I have played it. Okay. I made some money on it, but I don't know why I didn't buy it right there. Buy off the blue line, right, Ross? 
How hard of a job is that? You have one job, Newsom. Just buy off this giant blue line that's staring you in the face. And I didn't. So yeah, anyway, Twitter, um, I wouldn't be buying it up here aggressively. Wait until earnings and buy the dip. Buy as low as you can. Don't be super aggressive on it. Okay, so our favorite stock ever, AMD, with an absolute perfect play yesterday. Right, AMD can only go bearish for so long. I mean, guys, look at this ridiculous hammer. Look at this. Look at that. I mean, come on. Whew. Look at this. What more do you want out of life? You know? A perfect hammer just gently resting on the 100 simple and a stock that's in an uptrend and a company that you know how that makes money. Man. So we played it. Uh, we are in. We almost got filled on our other half an R. And I did add to some positions, obviously, above the high of this other perfect hammer from Friday. Adonis says, what's the play? We are already in, my friends. We did an official swing trade on it right here in the swing trade room, which, again, you have access to this journal, my dear friend, part of your subscription. But that was the setup on it right there. I'll put that in the chat pane for you guys' review, but that that is it. So we are in on AMD officially as a swing trade. And yeah, looks great. So as far as a day trade is concerned, uh, let it pull back. If you want to get into it with a call option, Adonis, the answer is yes. Buy a pullback halfway into today's candle. Joe says, I've been looking for the trade journal. Look no more, my friends. Look no more. I will show you where it is. It's so easy. Man, let's do it. So, Joe, here all you have to do, my dear friend, log into your dashboard at reallifetrading.com. And there's this giant green icon that will say RLT Official Trade Journal. That is where you want to go. That's it. You got that. You got the tr official trade journal. That is where it's located. It is there for the world. So yeah, AMD, we're going to be keeping a close eye on that one. Uh, we are in it and it is working. So I, I love watching that for a day trade. Tesla, which I also like watching for day trades, You're just going to trade sideways for a bit. I mean, I do like the gap up yesterday. I think the Bitcoin news was cool. I think it was more for, for Bitcoin than Tesla specifically. But I do have shares of Tesla. I am long on Tesla. And I think it's just going to hang out for a bit. That's all. Now I could be wrong. It was a nice gap yesterday, but it's just it's just hanging out. So just giving it some time. Let it doing its thing. Let it do its thing. I know you guys tried your best to play Tesla yesterday and just lost on it. But if you look at how much you lost, you probably lost very small. <laughs> Most likely you lost less than your previous profits on other trades. Because remember, friends, at some point you got to lose on some trades. Right. You're not going to just win on trades forever. BNGO, Bio Nano Genomics. This is one that my sister picked again. Not sure how she did it, but my sister is just on fire. You're the man. Let's see. Uh, Joe, Joel says, I was due for a loss. Yeah, man. Exactly. That's all it is. You gotta, you gotta lose sometimes. Okay. Got it. That's awesome to know. All right. My boy, Alex Hill, one of the greatest day traders in the world. I want to look at dollar general ticker symbol DG dollar general with the one white soldier, double bottom type of gap above the 200 simple. My boy Alex is going to be buying that dip right off of the 200 simple moving average. Aren't you, Alex? This is what Alex is going to be doing, right? I can, I can tell you, watch it. Bang, bang, buy calls, sell calls for profit. My name is Alex. This is what I do. I wake up, I press buttons, and I make money. 
that's not his voice though. I don't know why that's not, that's not how Alex sounds at all, but, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to make you sound like Jimmy Neutron, man. I'm sorry. But yeah, Dollar General, um, I can definitely put that on the list. That's how your boy Alex will be playing it. Um, Simon's also looking at Dollar General. So Simon and Alex will be keeping close eye on it. My boy John V wants to look at, is this Haynes, Haynes brand? Ooh, nice gap. John V in the building. John wants to play off of this resistance. John's been studying some videos. John has been studying videos, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, man, that's a really, that's a pretty setup. 1654 by 1614. Um, I'd be a little bit, a little bit more conservative than that, just because I'm a I'm a pansy. But I'll, I would do like 1604, so maybe maybe. To, but I don't think it's going to matter. Um, I can definitely put that on the list. We can absolutely watch it, John. Great stuff, man. Really good analysis. Josh, what up, buddy? By the way, man, thanks for chatting with me today, dude. I love you so much. Keep me posted if there's any like random expenses incurred by that, and uh, I'll help you take care. Take care of that, but either way, man, just thrilled to be in your presence on a daily basis. Okay. So Haynes Brands doing its thing. Okay. So we got, uh, we got a list. We got a list. I'm sorry I made that change. Um, I just did it. Thanks, homie. Anything else you guys are looking at? Man. Greg, what else you got, my friend? I'm just looking at that gap on Riot. It's crazy. But Riot? Yeah, but Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Riot. Wow. That gap yesterday was amazing. Amazing. Cause this is a gap on a Monday, right? Monday gaps, my friends, always some of the strongest because you're clearing multiple, multiple weeks worth of resistance. Look at this. Look at all those bears that are trapped on riot yesterday at open, including these two guys, including those two dudes, just beautiful. Now, again, I wasn't day trading yesterday. Uh, I did I did pretty well in the swing trades. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. But here's the five. Look at this five minute. Oh man, that would have been dirty, dirty McGurdy. Entry would have gotten stopped out and then bounced. That is just mean. That is so mean. Wow. I would have got I most likely would have gotten stopped out of that. I don't know if I would have gotten back in. Yeah, I would have gotten back in. Yeah, it takes out the high of this resistance. I would have had to do a limit buy there, stop loss there. I would have had to, would have had to. Anyway, uh, long story short, great gap. Michael says, do you think it runs? I, I agree with, uh, with Greg. I think it fades a little bit. I'll put it on the list because it's amazing. And you guys all know I'm very bullish on Bitcoin, right? You guys all know that? I'm extremely bullish on all crypto, oh, not all crypto, sorry. I'm extremely bullish on Ethereum and Bitcoin. Um, this is what I would expect on riot today. I'll put it on the list. I'll throw that in the chat pane. Michael says I'm in on a swing trade on riot blockchain. Should I hold or not? Um, I would hold. Yeah. Aaron Treadwell. What up Aaron? So Aaron wants to look at Mara. So this is all, these are all the B, the Bitcoin miner, um, blockchain DLT type of companies, Riot, Mara, they're all part of it. So yeah, Mara is gapping up, looks amazing. Again, another great gap yesterday. They're all gonna kind of play out the same because ladies and gentlemen, granddaddy long legs is starting to stretch his legs. The Bitcoin, 48,000 and some change. 48 and some change. So I sold a very small position at 444444, four, 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 all fours. And uh, I'm trailing my stops at this point. And it looks it looks brilliant. I am in extremely bullish on Bitcoin. 
Next target, sit back, relax, and don't do anything, my friends. That's the next target. That is the next one because the next target is 100,000. Marta says you can almost use Bitcoin to buy a Tesla. Not almost, you can. As of yesterday, you can use your Bitcoin to buy a Tesla. Which is convenient um, because it came out a month after I bought my Tesla. <laughs> it would have been great. Even though, let's be honest, guys, I would have never bought a Tesla with my Bitcoin. That doesn't make any sense at all. That makes no sense. Why would you use your most valuable asset, aka Bitcoin, to buy something with it? Anyway, I'm being a little facetious. Um, Bitcoin, stay long. All right, someone's asking about DraftKings. DraftKings, uh, nothing specific going on DraftKings. Just let that one hang out and chill. I did do a uh, covered call on DraftKings for regular February. I believe it was the 65, 67, 50, something like that. My boy Ben says, how far does Disney fade? Um, Disney's opening relatively flat, so I wouldn't specifically worry anything about Disney today. I mean, obviously, it could fade down, but it'll probably be like a small inside candle. Well, nothing, nothing too wild. DocuSign. I'm in long on DocuSign. A very, very tiny gap today. Just really hanging out. If you're not in DocuSign and you're looking to get in, I'll probably add to my call option if it pulls back down into 235, pretty much. Otherwise, today, I wouldn't really day trade it. Just kind of sit back, relax, and let it do its thing. Let it chop around some. But if it pulls back into some support, uh, that'd be the spot to kind of get in. Steven Jackson wants to look at Amazon. So Amazon um, fade. So, so Steve is thinking, let it gap down and get bought up. I would agree with that analysis, Mr. Jackson. Yep. Let it trade down to like, yeah, really right about here. 3303.33. So if you're looking at buying Amazon, you're probably buying around that support. Just a quick little fade in and out, some type of bullish trade and then moving on. Yeah, I can dig that. I can dig it. Okay, sweet deal. K Dog wants to look at Mime. Mime, Mimecast Limited. This is an interesting gap. It is gapping. Um, it's trapping some people, but it's going to be gapping over to some into some overhead supply. You have a lot of long term averages right there on the daily and weekly. Not a bad gap, and it definitely would fit my criteria, but I don't think it's going to do very much. If it was gapping here, 47.34, all day, all day. But right here, uh, I'm going to wait on it. Let's see what it's doing. Let, let it trade sideways and let it hang out. Our swing trade WW is trying to do something. Guys, Harry Potter has flown in with his wizardry magic and bought that one up. Avoiding us getting stopped out by pennies. Literally pennies, four to five cents. Six penny Newsom helping us out with the stop loss on WW. So yeah, that, that's kind of cool. My Philip, my boy Philip says, Do you like gold? I like gold on the longer term scale. Um, Josh, you sold some of those puts, right? Last week. I mean, you were telling me to on Thursday. Um, so it was a great put sale opportunity, I feel like. You sold one. What a chicken. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Uh, makes sense, ma'am. Makes sense. Yeah, I get it. It was, a, it was a great time to sell, right? The market was kind of, it was a little bit weak. Gold was trading into a support. It had bounced to that same exact price before back in November. So Sell a put. And it's not like you don't want to have some shares of gold. It's not like you're afraid to be in that one longer term. So yeah, GLD, um, I do like it on a longer term scale, Philip. So if you're buying it down here, I wouldn't necessarily day trade it. But if you are longer term options, shares, put sales, something like that, for sure. I am in silver calls, as you guys know. I'm a little sad that I didn't get my fill down here at 23, but I guess I can live. What up, AJ? Robert says, where has he been? AJ's been down the BVIs, uh, so, or so I've heard. 
that's just a rumor from a bird. I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard he was just sitting around on this island doing a bunch of push-ups, getting jacked. <laughs> um, who wants to look at IBM? IBM, Amit, you're going to have to just do your wizard magic on this one, dude. It's probably going to gap down and fade off of 121 on IBM, but you're the, you're the day trading pro, man. You're going to play that one much, much, much better than I would. So go get it. All right. Market opens in about 90 seconds. Uh, Hector says Exxon Mobil's gapping down. Ooh, this is nice. Finally, a little bit of a pullback on Exxon. I doubt it's going to be a short opportunity. I'll put on the list actually for a long. And take two interactive is also gapping down um, as well, but pretty small. I'll put on the list to see what it does. It's probably going to drag down Activision a little bit with it or not. I mean, if Activision can hold, that'd be amazing. And then BNGO, uh, I can put BNGO on the list for AJ just because I love AJ. AJ and my sister in on BNGO. It's a good gap. Lucia says fuel cell short. Nope. Don't short this one. No, ma'am. <laughs> I, that's just, that's just me saying, Hey, I've, I've played fuel cell for the last few months and it's just it never gone down. Even on a day trade, I can look at two opportunities. You could have made money on fuel cell short, but I can look at 19 that you could have made money on it long Just stay long by the dip. Even for a day trade, it's probably better to go with that trend and fight it. It is just too powerful. Um, AJ says, can you short Bitcoin? You can. Not that I ever have. No, I have. I've shorted Bitcoin. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> yep, yeah, you can. All right. So market is open. Market is open. So we're going to look at these. We're going to keep a pretty close eye on them just to see how some of them open. Tonics Pharmaceuticals is going to be interesting. I said I was going to wait 30 minutes on that one. Net ease. So most things are kind of gapping up and selling off a little bit, uh, except for Haynes Brands. Haynes Brands is running Riot. Yep. So again, it makes sense. It's going to fade down a little bit. That makes perfect sense. Exxon, we're going to watch for it. Take two, we're going to watch and BNGO. Okay. So take two, I'll scoot up. Exxon Mobil, I'll scoot up. They look the most bullish right now. AMD does look long. I'm already in it long. I'm not afraid to, I'm not afraid for it to go higher. It, it needs to, it should, it probably will. Fubo is trying to run. Um, maybe. Maybe if you're playing Fubo, uh, AJ, yeah, buy around maybe 45 and a half on a pullback. Apple is moving. Yep. I did snag some Apple on a pullback. So some Apple looks good off of 135.85. I could easily see that continue higher. Jim says, what's your entry point on Riot? I don't personally have any position on Riot at all, Jim, for me. Um, if you're buying a pullback on it, I'd probably say 32 and a half. 32 and a half. Let it pull back a little bit more into the previous all-time high. Or sorry, the previous high of the day. Simon Property Group, pretty decent gap. Ed, I'll put on the list by a pullback. Broader market today, we're down just a little bit. General trend is bullish. Probably get bought up some is my guess. But again, I'm waiting. I'm waiting a whole few minutes. Because again, I do think AMD can go higher. But early in the morning, I mean, it's just trading up to this pre-market resistance. Right, trading up to the pre-market resistance and going to get some selling on there and then most likely pull back. We're just going to watch it though, see what she does. Unity Software. I do like Unity. Uh, good call, AJ. I do like that one. It's a lot of bear volume yesterday. A lot of bear volume. A lot, a lot. And so if we play Unity 128... This could be very nice. Yep. 
128.59 by 126.59. $3 of risk. Okay, we're just going to watch that for just a moment. And just kind of see what it does, but it looks it looks very pretty. Let me see if it can close like this and uh, give it two or three minutes. So take two interactive, we're going to watch. Exxon Mobil, we'll see if it goes down. AMD, gap up, fade down. By the way, Ross, congrats for calling that one yesterday in the mentorship group. Called it out yesterday. He was going to short that one. Chegg. All right. So Chegg is also getting some pops. I'm going to watch for that one to pull back. Again, I'm not in any day trader right now. I'm just waiting it out to see what I want to play. Wow. Haynes Brands. Two. Everyone's wearing Haynes right now. 18%. Okay, BNGO is pulling back and then Simon Property Group. We'll just keep an eye on that one. Okay, cool. So this would be my setup on Unity Software. Yeah, pretty much. you're pretty much just playing a high wave candle. We, we have played one of those before. Okay, 128.59 by 126.59. It's a $2 stop loss. Should be relatively easy to calculate your shares on that bad boy. And that will be a new official day trade. New official day trade on you. Now here's the best news. Best news is if we get it wrong, meaning like if it doesn't work, we get to blame AJ. All, all the pressure's off of me. <laughs> I love it. Matthew in the building. What up, champion? All right. So we're going to do 128. We're going to do a buy custom 128.59. Um, and again, this is a $2 stop. And we're doing a stop limit. So 59 and increase that. All right, 126.59. Target, I'm not entirely sure. We'll just make it 130 for right now. We can always adjust it later. And this is again, just a day trade. So we'll see if it does something. Again, it doesn't have to trigger. And if it triggers, it doesn't have to work. All those things I think we know of at this point, but we'll just keep an eye on it and we'll see what it does. But I do like that setup. And it should be interesting to see what Unity software does. Take two interactive. We're going to watch it. See if it can break higher. Exxon Mobil. Again, we will watch this one to see if this one also breaks higher. It looks really pretty to me, um, potentially. AMD, Ross. Oh, my gosh. How do you know what a stock's going to do 24 hours ahead of time? Can you fill me in on that one, Ross? Can you fill me in? All right, NET, ticker symbol NET. Ed says, what are your thoughts on this one? I had a sell target of 92 and it missed by five cents. If it misses by five cents, got to raise it. That's my thoughts, my man. So trend looks good, chart looks good. Uh, have your target at 92.30, especially if you want to get out before earnings. Again, just my thoughts, but that's probably how you're going to approach it and kind of, kind of play it. So just increase that one a little bit. Reed says, good analysis on Amazon. Thank you, sir. So Amazon gapping down, getting bought up. All right. So Unity is open. We're waiting on the rest. Select quote. Oh, wow. Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. We might have to take, we might have to set two up. Now, what I'm looking for now is how large did this stop? That is a large stop. That's, a, that's like a 10% stop. That is humongous. Gargantuan. 
extremely long. All right, in on Unity Software. I've just got filled. Hmm. This trade could work, but I mean, my question is like, how much is it going to work for more than an R? And probably not. Probably not. If it trades sideways for a little bit, let me see if I can increase that risk reward because this is a $27 stop stock and this stop loss would be like a dollar, which is really, really big. So we did get filled on uni so far. We kind of got wicked in, but again, we don't know if it's going to work. It's a setup that we take pretty much every single time. Right. I mean, we've, we've taken this trade numerous, numerous times. So we'll put a target right around here. And we'll just see what it does for right now. Um, here's the three minute chart. Again, three minute chart looks pretty classic. This is the extended hours turned off. So again, if it doesn't work, it's fine. It's not a very big gap. A lot of bears are trapped and it will be one of those that if I lose on this, I will easily sleep tonight. Not an issue. All right, so select quote. I'm trying to see if we can make that risk reward better. Here's a way that we could make the risk reward better is if we break out, retest, and then we try to get in it. So we're gonna watch that and see what it does. How you doing? Everything look good, man? You need me to move anything around? Okay, sweet. Yeah, dude, absolutely. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. Get it off, Greg. Get it off. Okay. So uh, Exxon Mobil still going down, which again is fine. I don't have any position on Exxon Mobil, bullish or bearish. I'm actually shocked to see something sell off in this market. That's kind of cool. Corsair, we're going to wait on. Um, some people were asking about Sundial Growers, S and DL. So Sundial did fill. All right. So everyone was afraid that it was going to run. And lo and behold, it filled anyway at a dollar thirty-seven. That's the thing, guys. Sometimes you don't have to really stress too much about things in life. Filled anyway. Rich says, I bought to close some Redfin put sales for a profit. RDFN. Wow. Look at Redfin's at 91.30. What? What? Amazing. Solid job. Christian, you're in pretty heavy on. You are in heavy. Oh, I can't even type. Redfin, right? Winky face. Throwing in a little bit of a winky face to my boy. All right, back over to select quote. Again, this is a brilliant, brilliant trade. I'm literally just trying to make the risk reward better. Um, since the moving averages, which you'll notice in the pre-market, you see how the moving averages are actually going down. My goal on this one is to uh, let it break above and then probably retest and just make the risk reward better. Because again, this is a $27 stock and the stop right now on this would be like 8% of the entire stock's movement. So it's large. And as Robert says, it normally has a pretty terrible volume and spread. Um, use stop market. Okay. Steph says, could anyone type in the trade for you into the chat? I can't get into Slack and I thought I could. Yeah, I'll put it in the, um, here you go, Steph. Sorry about that. It's just playing that high wave candle. I did put it in the worksheet, although I haven't actually filled the whole thing in yet. Check some of you. It actually looks really good. Um, this, this trade could turn into an okay winner. Looking at it, uh, again, I know the stop's a little large, but we'll see. Um, I don't know how much we're going to exit at 130.41 realistically. Probably most, if not all of it. I don't think it's going to run to the moon, but it could. So 130.41, let's put 
Um, let's just put all for now. I know it's not the greatest risk reward in the world. I get that. And we can, we can trail it as we see fit. Uh, target for now. I mean, it wouldn't be a terrible trade. Greg says going to try on fuel cell. All right, Greg, thanks for letting us know. Okay, so fuel cell, FCEL. I'll put down the watch list and watch it with my boy G. So Greg's going to play fuel cell long if it continues higher. AJ says JKS is running today. So we do have a swing trade um, on JKS that has filled. And presently, our stop loss is at 60.38 on JKS. 60.38. So we'll see if it runs, man. If it runs, we are in it. Select quote again, just trying to get the risk reward a little bit better. And just to reiterate, yes, the target on Unity for now is all at 130.41. Again, I could go higher than that. Um, it wouldn't be a bad law. It wouldn't be a bad win to win on that. Um, we'll just see. Joseph, uh, trying to, man, trying to. I figured if Greg Gilbert's here, I might as well let the world know that he actually likes me. I had to film it so people would know. <laughs> AJ says, I love when I enter a swing trade at the same time, the group, completely not knowing you entered on the same stock. Isn't that a good feeling? Yeah, man. Let's, we actually got a few swing trades out there. Uh, here's Sierra Wireless, SWIR, and we're going to trade on this one. So far, it's just hanging out, but we'll see what it does. Someone mentions that AMD has the greatest morning star of reversal of all time. It does. It does have a massive morning star. Yeah. If it breaks the pre market high, you would assume that AMD would probably keep going bullish. It's again, a wonderful wonderful move yesterday really really great move great great move so we'll find out okay yes sir learn learn it now all right again back over to take two interactive down six percent which is interesting and activision oh activision's being held up it's stronger Yes, that's good news. I am still in my calls on Activision. Andrew says, it's almost paying for the room. Beautiful, that's awesome. AJ says, great call on Activision. Huh, great call? Great, more like great calls. Huh, huh? <laughs> yeah, no. uh, Josh says, Jay, would you sell some cover calls on Activision? Oh, man. Honestly, dude, I've asked myself that question so many times and I can't quite bring myself to do it. I can't quite bring myself to do it. So I got to wait. This is a gap and go, man. If you got January, 2022, dude, we got a year. This thing could go to 125 before next earnings. I'm going to try to hold it. Oh, you got shares. Uh, if you got shares... Same thing. Just hold. Just sit back and relax. Yeah. My boy Lauren is in BTBT. Bit Digital. Welcome to Bit Digital. Not even we know what we do. All right. So Bit Digital, 24 and a half. Oh, wow. You got like the bottom. You guys ever look at someone else's trays and go, are you a fortune teller? You know, do you, tra do you travel in time? What a great trade, man. Great trade. Hey, AJ, can you actually come up with a marketing campaign for Bit Digital and help them know what they do? We're a Bit Digital, and this is what we think we do maybe sometimes on Tuesdays. Someone told us this is what we do. <laughs> <laughs> bit digital we do a lot of bit digital that's it that's the campaign slogan 
I like it. Come on, Uni Software. Let's go. Let's go, baby. All right. Again, select quote. Uh, yeah, I think I think we were playing it the right way, just waiting on this one. Um, I'm almost confident I am. Almost confident. AJ says, sorry about this U trade, everyone. No, so that so oh yeah, you, you forgot, AJ. So if it works, I get the credit. And if it's wrong, you take the blame. Do you see how this works, man? <laughs> Uh, this is called being a president. <laughs> uh, story of your life, right? Yeah, same here, ma'am. Same here. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. All right, Disney. Disney Benjamin says, I'm getting 5R on Disney fade. I bought puts at the close of yesterday and I'm taking gains and going to Disneyland. Oh, wait, which can't. Hey, man, good job playing the fade. You bought some puts after that ginormous run up. I mean, it, I hope you bought some calls on the way up, but yeah, it was up 18% in a week. So buying puts up there, it makes sense to me. I get it. I totally understand. So well done, well done. Select quote, I'm still waiting on. Take two, Exxon Mobil probably fades. AMD is coiling. Chegg, what up, man? I'm Chegg. My name's Chegg, I like to party. So again, if you're buying Chegg, probably buy a pullback. I do like it. We can also set up officially at some point. Um, the rest of things generally I'm waiting for. Oh my goodness. Mr. Squiggles, what are you doing on Dollar General? <laughs> ben says I didn't buy any calls on Disney because I'm a moron <laughs> oh that's funny dude if it makes you feel any better I bought zero call options on Disney as well I mean how how do I not buy with this gap how do we not buy with this gap I'm not sure I'm not sure Oh, uh oh, guess what that's the sound of? Guess what that's the sound of? You. Nicely done, team. Again, we know for sure that it's going to go higher. Always keep that in mind. There is zero chance that we sell the top of anything ever. Um, the reason I'm taking that target there is because we're just running into previous resistance. Again, if you want to trail, exit a quarter, exit half, whatever you're comfortable with. But I knew that I only had a few more minutes on the microphone. And I was like, you know what? Let's take mm -hmm. some trades and make some gains. AJ Calvin, thank you for the setup, my friend. Thank you for the setup. Full transparency. I love trading with you, man. You're a great, great trader. It's an honor and a privilege. Honor and a privilege. Target just hit on ticker you for our day trade nice work that's it it's a great trade 128.59 128.59 stop loss 126.59 126.59 Okay, this is a perfect gap and go. We got triggered in at 128.59. Actually, let me go look at my fill. I don't know what my fill price was. Filled, where did I buy this? Price. Oh, nice. 128.55 is where I got it. Okay, and then I sold. 13041 on the nose. All right. There we go. Sweet. Now, again, if you want to trade it um, or trail it or exit more partial, totally fine. I figured, hey, let's just keep stacking wood, right? Putting wood in our fireplace. Putting wood in the fireplace. Just keep stacking it. 
Great trade. Great trade. All right. I will take that all day. So now let's see if we take anything else. And honestly, the answer is probably not. I love just taking a nice early trade in the morning and then moving on and being about my day. I'm a big fan of that always. I'm a big fan of that. Plus, you got your boy Thomas Wong coming on the microphone in just a little bit. Um, if you're going to buy AMD, yeah, 91.20 is probably going to be your limit buy if you're playing it. BNGO, a.k.a. Bingo. Uh, if you're playing Bingo, I think you could probably buy a pullback into this one. So there's there's a little bit of, little, I feel like there's a little bit of selling pressure on this one. So if you're playing it, Probably play at something like this, 1240 by 1215. It is a retest gap after all. So buy some type of pullback. Um, thoughts on CGC, same as this morning. It's bullish, be long, stay long, long and strong. I mentioned this morning, you do not have to wait until 4550 to go long on this one. It's already bullish, the trend is already bullish. So buy some dips. So buy as low as it can. Buy as low as you can because it, it's already done its thing. It's already made its move. It's kind of it gets a little stuck sometimes. Chris says, should I wait on a covered call? Ah, oh, good question. Um, I check earnings. I think. Let me go check this really quick. Let me go check when earnings is CGC, February 9th. I think they're today. They're this morning. Oh, okay, cool. They're this morning. Got it. Sorry, I don't I don't have any positions on CGC. Um, I would say, yeah, man, I think this is a great spot for a covered call. <laughs> Robert says, they lost tons of money. No one cares. Yep, yep, yep. Edgar says, Jeremy, can you share your Coinbase link? Bitcoin, Jeremy Newsom. I can. You mean from the video that I came back out in May saying that everyone should be buying Bitcoin? That one? <laughs> Is this the coolest title? Look at this, 122 views. No one cares. No one cares. <laughs> Should you invest in Bitcoin? Yes. Long-term, yes. Uh, that's awesome. But yeah, Edgar, let's do it, my man. Andre says, I told a few of my friends to buy Bitcoin. I said it was too risky. Oh, man. All the time. Leland says, my goofy interview has more views. Your interview was great, man. Your interview was great. I mean, goofy, I agree, but it was, it was still great. <laughs> you still did awesome. AJ says, I'm waiting for our interview. Uh, kids month, it's right around the corner, AJ. Maybe. <laughs> I'm on fire today. Man, I'm just dropping bombs everywhere. No, dude, we'll definitely, we'll definitely get something um, on the books. I promise. Okay. So again, select quotes. My goal from here for the rest of the day is just to not give back whatever we just made. That's all I'm going to do. So again, if you bought Chegg, you got it on the pullback. T and XP, there you go. Uh, I said I was going to wait at least 30 minutes on that. So let me give that one a little bit more time. But if you're watching this one, this is, this is a possibility. JB says, I really appreciate your discipline and style, Jeremy. My pleasure, guys. Yeah, no, thank you for being here. It's, seriously, very, very happy to uh, to be doing this. Because again, yeah, that's, that's all it's about. It's about being calm, being patient, not losing. Realizing that there's zero chance we're going to make money every day. Zero. Zero. Can't happen. You will have losing days. My thought generally is if you can make, when you're day trading, right? The fact that you take a winning trade is insane. First of all, let's just throw that out there. 
the fact that you can sit down and actually make money pressing buttons is, is bananas. So to actually make money day trading is just a gift. So when in the rare event that it happens, take the profits, keep them, let it do its thing, and then wait, wait walk it out. Give it some time. Alibaba, it does look good. So it's going to trade sideways in a while. Going to trade sideways for a little bit longer. I do have a covered call for next Friday that I will buy back soon. By the way, did you guys like that new covered call video? I feel like it was pretty helpful. I had a lot of questions about that recently. So Alex says, are you under the treadmill desk? Just got mine a couple of days as a birthday gift and I love it. Yeah, man, I'm doing the doing the treadmill. Doing the treadmill. JKS. Um, my target on JKS is probably going to be closer to 75, AJ. Yeah, my target's going to be closer to 75. Wow, Netflix. Oh, man. I wish someone would have told me to buy Netflix two days ago. Thursday of last week would have been just like the prime time to buy Netflix. If only we would have known. Jeez, like that close above this giant bearish candle. Oh, that would have been so good to know to buy the dip on that stock. No way you could have known that though. Jolene says new member already paying for the subscription. Hey, it's a good goal to have. This is a very good goal to have. Use the trading room to pay for the subscription. I love it. So welcome, Jolene. Welcome to the team. Thank you for being here. Welcome to the Thunderdome. All right. Andres says, what is the target on you? We have already gotten out, my friend. We have already gotten out, Andres. But I know you're a little bit better of a trader than I am. So here's what I would do if you're still in it. Is move the stop below the low of this candle that just came in. All right, move the stop loss and then take the target and put it here. Uh, 131.85. So I'll put that into the chat pane. Andre says I had a $1 trailing stop. Oh, yeah, $1 is easy on Unity. That's an easy trailing stop. That's definitely going to get hit. But hey, I mean, at least you made some money on it. You didn't lose, brother. So that's awesome. So I'll just put that out there for anyone who is still in Uni Software. Again, I'm out. I took the profit. I just want to take a quick in and out this morning, right? Stack the wood and, uh, and move on. It was a good win. It was a very good win. Select quote, I'm waiting on. Take two, I'm waiting on. X on mobile, I'm waiting on. AMD should go higher. I do have long positions on AMD. I'm quite bullish on AMD. I got some shares. I got some put sales. I got a March 5th covered call at 100. I am absolutely in bullish on AMD. Steven says, what's your target for today? Um, no specific target for today. Uh, let's call it 90, 93. It could get to 93 today. But ultimate target um, is 105 at some point. 95.67 is a potential target for a swing trade. And again, I got some shares. I'll do a $100 covered call for May, sorry, March 5th. March 5th. In fact, if I go over here to AMD in this account, I'll have to cancel that order. Did not pull back far enough. Alex says, wow, look at the queues. Yeah, the queues are just blistering right now. The queues are blistering. I got my target, folks. 354.20. If we get there before March, I am 100% in cash. <laughs> Again, I don't think that happens, but man, if it does, boy, oh boy. Craig Levine says, go so hit 15. Oh, wow. That's weird. Why is this stock going up? Hmm. Go health. Why is that going higher? I wish I would have loved to have known about that like two or three days ago. That would have been 
miraculous. Right, Craig Levine? Wouldn't that have been just the coolest thing? It's been so cool. Bryson says, I'm in go, so what? Hunter says, Jeremy, if you go out of cash, does that mean you won't be entering any new swing trades? No, I'll definitely enter new swing trades. Just the ones that I'm in, I will definitely sell. That's a great question. So once I'm in cash, I'll just kind of rebuy some pullbacks. So speaking of our swings, here's Zoom Info. I did increase the stop loss on Zoom Info so that we can't lose on this trade. And I've also increased the target a little bit. So hopefully Zoom Info hits our target. Uh, you got a brick wall up here at 58 and a half. We missed the target on this one yesterday by pennies. JB says you can keep your long-term investments. Um, generally, I do keep my long-term investments, but if we hit that number on the queues before March, I probably will sell everything again. But again, long-term investments, man, it's just going to depend on your dollar cost average and where you bought them. Like some stocks like Tesla or Apple, you know, if you have your cost average extremely, extremely low, it's like, why not just, just sit back, relax and let it do its thing, you know? So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, man. Like there's gonna be some stocks that you don't, you'd by no means have to sell. Jumia, I love this little pressure building on Jumia. This is nice. I got a covered call at 70 for February. Robert says, if you're in an IRA, dollar cost average does not matter though. That is correct. Yep, definitely correct. Teladoc, looks like it's going to hit $340, $300.47 before March 1st, which means I'm going to keep holding some of those positions. Teladoc has just been crank city. Love that one. Palantir, PLTR, small, small gap up, hanging out, doing its thing. Um, again, I, I realized that we didn't get at the exact top of unity, but type in a five. If you guys like that sell, I'm, I'm always a fan, you know, just, just buy low, sell high take some profits. You're never going to get out the exact high ever. You know, we got, we got a dollar away from the high. It's not bad. It's not bad. So again, personally for me, um, if you're playing anything right now, I do actually like select quote. You're going to want to buy on a pullback and I think you're going to pull your stop up. But here's what I'm personally going to do is I'm not going to take any more official day trades today. I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to lock in my win and I'll be working with, uh, with Greg Gilbert the rest of the day, just doing some coaching and some one-on-one -on -one with him. I'll be here for another 25 minutes on the microphone and then Thomas Wong will be taking over for an hour and a half and then he'll pass the baton to the next amazing, incredible real life trader, Tilray. So what was beautiful about Tilray is I've been talking about this hammer back on January 25th. A lot of people played that hammer on January 25th. It was a, it was a remarkable, remarkable hammer. This one right here, very, very pretty, easy, easy setup. So there's the entry right there. There's another entry right there, another entry right there, and then bang town. Good job for anyone who played Tilray. It's a thing of beauty. Um, let's see. So Chegg, so waiting on TNXP. We said let's give it some time. Net ease is hanging out. Wow, look at Dollar General. Ladies and gentlemen. Type in a nine. If Mr. Squiggles is just impressive, what a what a crazy wild wild man, Mr. Squiggles. Unbelievable. Alex Hill says, "I'm in it, bro." What? Did you follow your trading plan? <laughs> Did you have analysis and then you execute on that analysis? What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they'll probably ask you the questions. You do they're doing it right now? Yeah. I'll be out there. Uh, I'll be done in 23 minutes. Okay. I didn't want to keep them waiting. I'd rather wait. Yeah, we can wait. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally cool. 
Um, Lucian says, tell him to push that higher. I have it long since 180. On Dollar General? You got long on Dollar General at 180. You must have been in forever ago. 160 is even lower. Good for you, man. Good for you, Dollar General. Look at Haynes Brands. No big deal, up 20%, because why not? Riot. So Riot did pull back into 33 and it's a 33 perfect hammer. Absolutely brilliant. Very, very nice. It's weird that it retested though. Right? It's super weird that it retested. White candle gapping up. Sarcasm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect retest, right? So good. So good. Michael Gurley said, I did not sell my swing. Hey man, congrats. That's pretty awesome to be able to hold on to that. Like it, it can feel scary, but I think that's wonderful, man. Mark W said, I made 256 bucks on a call option on Riot. Thanks, Jan. Oh, dude, you know, don't thank me. I didn't do <laughs> I didn't do anything, man. That's all you, brother. I mean, I appreciate you saying thank you, but that's you, my man. That is you. JB wants to enter uh, Unity again, Unity Software. Um, if you're playing Unity a second time, again, I'm not personally going to do this trade. I'm just going to sit back, relax, and go, that was fun. Made some money, and we can move on throughout the day. Uh, if you play it again, I would probably do something like this. 128.16 by 126.63. So I'd lower my entry from last time and increase my stop loss from last time. Sian says, what do you think about this one as a swing trade? Um, I love Unity uh, as a longer term trade. It depends on how it closes today. This could absolutely be a swing trade. Could absolutely be a swing trade. This is tons and tons and tons of bear volume yesterday. And again, it's not like the market's been bearish or it's been selling off at all, which I'm not saying is a good thing. I'm just saying it just, it just hasn't, right? So... Yep. Richie says, awesome, dude. Okay. I like it. I like it. So we're getting some plans in here. A boy, Matt says, great spot to pick up a few shares of Tesla or is it headed to the 20? Yeah, man. Trade it into the 20. 20 is at 831. Give it time, man. It's very, very, very high. So there's no need to be super aggressive on buying any shares of Tesla. In my humble opinion. I think that bad boy can pull back just a little bit more. Zoom. Took a symbol ZM. So Zoom is hanging out, chopping around, trading sideways, looking pretty cool. Greg says Riot's going to hit 40 today. Yeah, probably. I heard you had some family in Riot. Yeah, good. They're probably happy. They probably sent you a few text messages saying, thanks, Greg, for a 400% return on my investment. We appreciate that, Greg. I mean, that's what I would have said. I didn't get that text message, but it's okay. <laughs> ALXO uh, did have a little bit of a bullish candle yesterday, but just let that one hang out and do its thing. Arlo, A-R-L-O. Oh, there you go. Finally coming around some. Craig Levine says, Affirm, just hit my targets. Affirm Holdings. Well done, buddy. Took a symbol, A-F-R-M, Affirm Holdings. Hit your target. Good job selling it up there, man. Well done. Very, very well done. All right. Snow. We had a swing trade open on snow. Probably going to cancel it. I don't think it's going to fill. Just got to trade something else at some point. Um, purple, PRPL, right? We got out of that one yesterday. JKS. Slowly is looking okay. All right, it's not terrible. AMWL is hanging out. Doesn't look bad either. Sierra Wireless, SWIR, 
So Sierra Wireless also just kind of chilling. Nothing really amazing presently. PLTK. So we set this one up the other day and we're going to have to cancel that one. Uh, we should have been in over here with this hammer on February 3rd. It was really, really nice. Really nice. That was, that was the time to get in. So PLTK is just absolutely scorching the earth. So I'm going to have to cancel that one today on our, um, on our swing trade journey. We got close, but we will have to cancel. And then um, race, which is Ferrari, R-A-C-E. I know a lot of people buying some Ferrari down here. And uh, I don't know if it's going to pull back to our official limit entry, but obviously everyone's probably already in with that hammer. Um, Cindy, uh, I believe that was on Ferrari. Yep. R-A-C-E. Ron says, I'm in. Yes, sir. You sent me the trade. So again, thank you for that. <laughs> Robert says, I heard some guy did a bunch of research on race and thought it was a good IPO. I've read stories about that. Yeah, that when it IPO, it had a really, really good track record and great dividends and good income and good source and good recurring revenue and a good business model and really nice licensings and just a solid cash flow stream. Back at 40. No, no big deal, just 40. Four zero. Um, pets, P E T S. So this is a swing trade that we have open again, this might not trigger. And obviously if it triggers, it might not work, but you know, we got that set up and then S and D L we did get triggered in on sundial growers. We're in it. So we'll see if it starts starting to crank out. It really, really could. It could, I mean, some buying is coming in, so that could be relatively interesting, but we are in it. So Sundial and then TIXT. I don't think that filled yet. I don't believe so. TIXT. Nope, hasn't filled yet. And CLOV, I don't believe is filled yet either. Nope, Clover Health. Cool, cool, cool. Very sweet. All right, so I'm gonna minimize this for right now. Yep, let that do its thing. Um, anything else you guys are looking at, just let me know. I might pull this up over here. Let's go look at Smile Direct. Is Smile Direct smiling yet? Nope, not yet. Zero smiles. Someone's saying First Solar trying to move. So First Solar is a swing trade, I think that your boy Ricky Cadden set up for the weekly options newsletter. So first solar slowly creeping. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, for the weekly options newsletter. DraftKings. So DraftKings at 62.28. So 62.28. That one's hanging out, being strong. Silver, take a symbol SLV. I still love silver. I probably, I might even, I might even consider increasing my entry on that one at some point. I might consider just adding some as it continues a little bit higher. Upwork, UPWK. Upwork is going up. Shocker. So I got 19 left. I think I'm going to sell one today. Try to sell one at 30. Let me try to sell two at 32. So these are call options that I bought at $10. I'm going to try to sell them for 32. I'll put in good till cancel and I'll have 17 left if that hits. On Upwork, 17 contracts left of the January 20. 23 $30 call options. My boy Ed says, did you look at Zoom? I am in Zoom. I have a longer term call on Zoom. 420 January 2022 call and looks good. Uh, pressure is building. Nice little breakout. Nice coiling effect. 
we all use Zoom every day. Hunter says, what has you feeling so good about silver? Um, I just like the monthly chart, man. I like the chart. If it has a chart, it has a heart. I like this gap. I mean, look at the, look at the hammer. Nice bear hammer, one white soldier. It gapped up above all that resistance. I mean, if, if it takes out 28, it's gone. That's pretty much my answer. If it takes out 28, it's going to go to 30, 35. And the trend's not bearish, plus it's silver. You know? What's silver going to do long term? I mean, it's going to go higher eventually. I would think. Oh, wow. Look at Wix. Wix has been just slowly churning and burning, sleeping in the night. It's been, it had a lot of increased implied volatility yesterday. Those Wix options are doing pretty good. Got the cat and cannon on Wix. And uh, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty okay, I think. It looks all right. Thomas says, let's go Wix. Yeah, I'm definitely in it. I have positions, 350 leaps and the put and the put sales as well. So now we just sit back and wait. Robert says, did I get the name of that super caller correct on Slack? Super caller with two put sales. I think so. I think so. Joe says AMD is retesting the view app. Almost, it almost got there, but no, sorry, right here it did. Yes, you're absolutely correct. Right there, she pulled right back into the into that view app and looks looks pretty. Looks really pretty. Um, Airbnb. So I bought back the put sale on Airbnb, although I could just let it expire worthless. This was a February, um, February put sale. And I, I have bought that back. So if anyone's in that put sale with me on Airbnb 140, I bought it back for 10 cents. So let me just go share that really quick. So if you sold that, that was free money down there. Um, close manually. Free money. Bought to close for 10 cents. So Airbnb has been a fun one already. But yeah, I uh, just letting you guys all know if anyone was in that one. On Airbnb. We looked at Arlo a little bit ago and it, it's trying, it's trying. I mean, this is, this is a little bit of a bullish candle. Hopefully it'll allow us to increase our stop or something like that, but it's trying its best. Um, here's AYX. AYX still bullish has earnings tonight. I definitely have some protection. I have a collar on this one. So I'm really intrigued to see what AYX does over earnings. Salesforce, ticker symbol CRM hanging out, building some pressure. And I love it. DocuSign, we looked at that one earlier this morning. DocuSign really just kind of hanging out. Not doing anything special. EverQuote, E-V-E-R, broke above a very, very nice hammer. Let me text my boy, Chad. We were looking at this one a lot yesterday. By the way, I did get triggered into EverQuote. So Everquote, uh, we'll set that up officially as a swing trade today, but I am in Everquote. And this little hammer breakout. So I'm in on that one. Uh, go, we set this one up yesterday in my mentorship group. I'm in some calls on Go Health Incorporated. Those ones that we set up last night, Thomas. Let's see, Grubhub, G-R-U-B, nothing special on that one. I-N-O, mm, nothing really special on that one. J-M-I-A, we were talking about that some today. J-M-I-A still looks okay. You got some interesting pressure building. It doesn't look terrible. 
Um, Oxy, O-X-Y, we set up a trade on Oxy and we missed this one by just a few pennies. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and cancel that swing trade on O-X-Y. This was an options trade that we had, right? Hmm. I guess not. I set it up. Did I not make that official? Huh. Dang. Give me a second. I guess not. Oh, well. All right. Well, it's easy. Less work for me then. Lucian says it was an official swing as an option. I thought it was too. Weird. Well, anyway, it didn't trigger. We missed it by eight cents. So if you got that open, just go ahead and cancel it. Sam is posting my chart. Um, February. Yeah, got it. Thanks, man. I'll post it in here and I'll just, I'll just cancel it. So I posted that. I believe I can check this chart and see when I posted that. The third, okay, two, three, 2021, OXY. So I didn't get filled on this particular trade. Uh, if you did, or you took something different, congrats. I'm just gonna cancel the order. I think it was a great trade based on a uh, hammer and it's canceled. So thanks, Sam. But yeah, go ahead and cancel uh, Oxy. Just didn't fill, at least for me on that option trade. So, okay, cancel that one. Shopify, S-H-O-P, Shopify has been absolutely just scorching the very earth on which we walk. I gotta put sale expiring worthless on Shopify um, this Friday. Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Check this out. This is really interesting. Um, Shopify 840 put sale for this Friday still has a dollar or 30 cents. Earnings on it are February 17th, according to Thinkorswim. That's pretty impressive, right? A dollar 40 for this Friday. Huh? Wow. All right. Um, Workday. Wix. And Cindy says, did I add to Zoom info above yesterday's hammer? Um, I haven't yet. I just actually just, I just increased my target. But if we trade sideways long enough, Cindy, uh, I will. Yeah, if we trade sideways long enough, I'll do that. Zoom info earnings are February 22nd. So we'll also be out before then as well. Lauren says, I got out of BTBT BT with 1.8 Rs. Man, you traded it amazingly well. Great job, brother. Great job, solid entry. Fastly is running. Yeah, Fastly. Good looking trend. It's all hot right now. It is all hot. Lucas says, what do you think of NGAC? Don't know anything about it, but that's a strong breakout. Looks like a SPAC, obviously. So just be cautious with it. You know, have your stops in place. Maybe play as an absolute zero and kind of go from there. Michael says, Riot hit 40. Yes, it did. Well done, buddy. GLD. All right, RACE. Um, nope. JB says shop. Short, no, sir, do not short Shopify. I would not personally short it. I have short puts, 
which go up as the stock goes higher, but I wouldn't short the shares. You're betting against the trends. It's just easier to go bullish on this one. A lot easier to go bullish. In fact, if we go to Instagram, real life trading, I actually just posted a really cool uh, chart on Shopify. Right, Ross? Let's see, where do we go? Shopify, bang. That was back at 1,030, so just not too long ago. AJ says, what a statistic, 89%, let's go. Stocks that break on thousands go to 2,000, 89% of the time. Plus this company has an incredible balance sheet. Up 400 points since that post, I'll take it. Joe says, says, I'm long Palantir. I'm also long Palantir. I have some $40 May calls on Palantir. So hopefully that goes higher. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, man. Best of luck. Best of luck. All right. Well, cool, team. This is fun. This is interesting. Pretty fun day. Um, let me open up Thomas Wong. I think it's time for me to hand you the baton, my friend. All right. How are you, Rockstar? Not bad. 